guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today I picked up the new Win Beauty brand from none other than tennis champ Serena Williams. I am a tennis fan. I play tennis all throughout high school. Whenever I get a chance now as an adult, I still love to go out there and hit some balls and I just think it is a great sport. Serena was a huge inspiration. I just loved watching her from the beginning of her career all the way to the end and you know what now that she's retired from the tennis world i think she really had a love of fashion because she even started a fashion brand while she was still a tennis champ and so I can see how this collection makes sense and we got to give it to her for the color of her packaging tennis balls love it you guys know I love a lime green I'm gonna be wearing green pants today so I think this is gonna be a really cool collection and there's a little bit of everything and the display inside um, Ulta Beauty is really cool as well um, I was shocked that my local Ulta had it because when I initially ordered these products online they were not available um, so when I walked in it was probably the middle of this week it was there it was great but my order was already on the way so we are gonna do a 10 11 hour wear test trying out all these new products I have a skin tint a concealer an eyeliner a mascara an eyebrow pencil a couple different lippies and we're just gonna see if a win beauty is worth your time and more importantly your money as I go through the products the application I'll tell you a little bit more about the products uh, at that moment but if it is your first time here on my channel let me just say hello and welcome to all of you my name is Steph I I love trying out new makeup. I am primarily a new makeup review channel, but I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, makeup ranking videos. I'm gonna have a makeup ranking video coming up very soon. If that sounds great to you, I wanna invite you to become a part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button, hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you're a fan of Serena Williams or you're truly curious to see how this new beauty brand is gonna perform, please give this video a big thumbs up before you go. And as usual, everything that I'm wearing will be linked and listed in the description box. Some of those links might be affiliate links so if you do end up shopping. Thank you guys so so much for supporting me and my channel. Let's dive on into this Win Beauty first impression quick wear test video. If you guys want to see how this beauty brand is going to perform, keep on watching. Okay, so since this is going to be a first impression, I'm trying multiple products. This is not going to be one of my traditional foundation reviews where I do day one without any helping products and then day two with all of the helping products. So I'm just gonna treat it like I would any foundation. And so I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer before we go in with the tinted sunscreen slash moisturizer. Okay, so next so we're gonna go in with this product right here packaging over here. This is um, the Broad Spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. It is fe called Featuring You Hydrating Skin Enhancing Tint. This retails for $29 on the Ulta Beauty website and there are 36 shades available. The shade that I picked up is shade um, 45 which is called Strive and Strive is uh, described as fair with balanced neutral undertones. Now this particular product says it's going to give us light buildable coverage with a natural radiant finish it says it's suitable for all skin types including sensitive skin it is also cruelty free it's vegan and it says that it's going to provide 72 hours of hydration which we're not going to be wearing our makeup for 72 hours but I think this packaging is so cute and I like that you have the little window right here to where you can see um, exactly what the shade is. Black Pump. Um, let's give it a good shake and let's start applying. So I have a damp sponge and I have a makeup brush. Okay, nothing is wanting to come out. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. You know, I think this is going to be a little light. But in the future, I'm not going to do it today, I can always use some darkening or some bronzing drops. I saw that e.l.f. just released some. So that'll be cool. I'm going to use my BK um, A101 foundation brush to start applying. No scent. Yeah, this is a bit on the light side, but I think once I blend it in, I think it should be okay. 
Let me know if you guys are tennis fans as well. Who is your favorite player? I don't watch a lot of tennis now, um, but I always loved watching Serena and Venus. Um, I also liked Martina Hingis, Steffi Graf. Um, I mean, there was just so many, so many cool players. I remember the Pete Sampras and Andre Agassi days. Like they always had a good rivalry. So did Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, um, Andy Roddick. I mean, there was just so many, so many people that I enjoyed watching. I just, I grew up with the sport. I started playing tennis in high school, and I mean, not in high school, in middle school. And then I continued on into into high school, and then I didn't play in college. But I just played for fun, you know, like for exercise. So I don't think, I think that coverage is definitely light, but I feel like it's maybe a little, a little bit more than light. Let's see, I'm going to try the damp sponge. I don't know why I think maybe the sponge will do a little bit better job with this product. Of course, you could always use your fingertips as well. Well, I'm just going to press over everything. We're going to use the concealer right after. And so I'm not going to build up. Oh, my goodness. Sister has sister has a straw she's been playing with for a while. And um, she like just jumped over here on the table. But um, I'm going to. Okay. Oh, my God. What's going on there? What is going on there? Okay, that's weird. Ooh, we can't have that. Um, I'm almost tempted to take it off and start over. But let's see, I, am I blending it out? Is it blending out? Yeah, it's blending itself out. Okay, I don't know, maybe. I don't know, maybe the primer just built up in that area and I didn't blend it correctly. Okay. Hmm. That worries me. And look like right here. Hmm. You know what, guys? I want to give this a fair chance. So I'm going to take off what I have and then I'm going to come back. Maybe I will use a different primer. Um, or maybe I won't use one at all. Yeah, maybe I just won't use one, uh, but I'll definitely use powder and setting spray. But let me give this a fair chance. Let me take it off and we'll start again. Uh, no primer. Let me try going in with the damp sponge. <laughs> you notice I went straight for the forehead because I want to make sure that's not going to happen again. You know what? I'm thinking maybe I just, since I did my normal skincare routine, but I did not do SPF because I knew this was going to take the place. Maybe it was just too much moisture on my complexion. And so that's why it reacted that way. Um, that has happened to me in the past. And I know some of you have mentioned that has happened as well. So whenever you are, have over moisturized, the product that you're putting on top of it, especially if it's like a skin tint or if it's like a tinted moisturizer that you're just treating as a foundation, that might tend to ball up or peel up or have like a breaking effect the way you just saw right now. And that just means you're over moisturized in that area. So that could be what happened. And since I am a normal to oily skin type, I'm 42 years old, by the way, um, that is likely what happened. I'm just going to get a little bit more just to make sure I cover everything. But it's looking a lot better. And so I think that was definitely the problem. So you're going to want to treat this as your tinted sunscreen. And don't Unless you're super dry, I guess go in with your regular, maybe a lightweight moisturizer. But if you're like me, normal to oily or full on oily, this is going to be your moisturizer and SPF in one. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here. Um, I think the coverage is definitely light coverage. I don't really know how much you're going to be able to build it up, 
but hopefully the concealer will help build us or get us that extra coverage that we need. So here is the concealer. Again, love the packaging. And this is all plastic packaging, by the way. This is called Nothing to See Soft Matte Creamy Concealer. This one retails for $25 and there are 20 different shades. The shade I chose to go with is shade 105. This one's called Progress. And this is described as light with warm golden undertones. And let me just give you a quick look at the small applicator there. I like that it's kind of small and narrow. Um, this is going to be a uh, medium buildable coverage, but it also says it's like a cream to powder. So I'm going to end up setting one under eye area and then I'm not going to set the other. And you're going to see, I'm going to use this to help give me that added bit of coverage I want. This also says that, of course, it's vegan, cruelty-free, but that it's also going to give us that 72-hour hydration. Okay, so I think you can still see around here, like it's just not, it's not laying right. Yeah, I had higher expectations for this, and I feel like it's just sitting on top of the skin. It's not melting into the skin. So that's not good. Um, okay, I have a couple cream products that I'm going to go in with that are not um, from this beauty brand, and you've seen me use this already. This is the new Too Faced Bronzing Contour Stick. This is a new blush that I picked up, the Sun Blush from It Cosmetics. That's what it looks like. This one I got from QVC. This is heavy. <laughs> this one is um, in the shade Sunlit 10. So I'm going to quickly just apply these cream products off camera. Um, that way we can set the complexion um, and then I can go in with some of the other products that I picked up. There were no bronzer blushes in this line as of right now. Okay, so now that the blush and bronzer are on, we're gonna set the complexion. I'm only gonna set one under eye area and I'm just gonna set the right side since this concealer is a cream to powder formula. I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder. And I am gonna set my T-zone as well. Okay, so I think that looks that looks good. I think it went on well under the eye area. And then this does still feel tacky, but um, I'm sure it's going to dry down really soon. So I have, let's see, I have a mascara and I have a brow pencil. And then I have two lippies that we're going to try today. I love this. I feel like this is the grip of the tennis racket. It even feels like it, but this is just a black eyeliner. Um, I did pick up a brow pencil right here. I believe there are three different shades in the brow pencil. The shade I went with is shade, uh, it's called Taking Shape, and the shade is called Taupe. And it is, it has a spoolie on one side, but it's one of those like triangular shaped eyebrow pencils. So let's brush up the brows. I'm going to have to use a brow pen. That's what I always use. I use a pencil and a pen whenever I do my brows and I just do this first to kind of just shape them out and then I go in with the brow pen to add those hair like strokes. You can see I have very sparse brows. One side is more sparse than the other. I would say that this is my good brow over here. My left brow is, I don't know, it gives me problems sometimes. Okay, so I like that. I, I like that. That was quick and easy. I think the shade is good. Okay, so I'm just going to get my NYX brow pen and just fill in real quick. All right, so next we're gonna go in with the mascara, but I wanna curl my lashes first, and I'm using my Refer Eyelash Curler. Okay, so here's the mascara. It is a lengthening and volumizing tubing mascara. I really like tubing mascaras. I feel like they don't flake on you. 
So let's start applying. I don't think I'm going to do an eye look today, just so that way you guys can really see how the mascara does. Because sometimes if there's shadow on the eye, on the lid, it kind of is hard to see exactly how the mascara performs and how it looks and holds up throughout the day. Look at that. Well, that Ruffer Eyelash Curler is really good, by the way. <laughs> And I think they're still having their sales. So my affiliate link is in the description box. And everything on their site is 40% off. I would highly recommend that eyelash curler. I'll clean up that little boo-boo there in a second. I'm surprised that this is not like waterproof. I'm glad it's not. But when you're out there on the tennis court, you do sweat a lot. Sometimes you get rained on. Of course, you can't play in the rain. But I'm glad that she didn't because I'm not a huge fan of waterproof mascaras. I just don't like removing them. Okay, wow. Look at the difference. Pretty cool. Okay, so I do have a black eyeliner and it has like a little, what is this? Like a little smudger on the tip and it also has a sharpener. It has something that you can just smudge there. And then that's the eyeliner. So I'm going to put it under. Let's see. There's a nice point to it. I think I will add a little bit to the lash line. Let me use that little tip. ruining the mascara I guess I didn't I should have done this first I don't know why I didn't but I'll have to use a little a little more mascara to separate these lashes but you get the idea I just wanted to try all the products that I got okay guys so now that Eyes are done. I picked up two lipsticks and I think I'm going to go in with this one. Word of mouth. This is, this is their Max Comfort lipstick in the shade Ant. And let me show it to you. This is what the packaging looks like. Here is the shade. I'm going to swatch both of them on the back of my... Actually, no, I'm going to swatch them on the palm because the back of my hand is all cut up from Sister and I playing. That looks really pretty. I think this is the shade I'm going to wear today. And then I picked up the Say Everything Max Intensity Feather Lightweight Lipstick. This one is in the shade Ignite. And that's what the packaging looks like. It's a thinner component. And those are the shades there. So I think I'm going to go with the traditional bullet style lipstick for today. I think that looks so pretty. So pretty and I love the packaging. One more thing that we need to do is set this complexion. I'm going to go in with my one size on till dawn setting spray. All right guys, so here is the look. I think that the skin tint has already started melting into the skin, which Thank God. This is the under eye that I set. It's the right one. When I do my check-in today, the camera's going to flip it because I'm using my cell phone camera. But just know I will be pointing to the right side, the right eye, the right side. Um, and then this is the eye that I did not. But both, I think, are looking pretty good. I think so far everything is looking pretty good. Liking the brow pencil, loving the mascara, loving the lipstick. Praying everything goes well. I have really high expectations uh, for this brand and I will check in with you guys during around my lunch break and then at the end of the day I'll wrap up this first impression wear test over Serena Beauty's Ser over Serena Beauty Serena Williams new beauty brand Win Beauty. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so this is the five hour check in with this new um, Serena Williams beauty collection win beauty um i'm looking a little shiny I, I don't think it's really holding up too well the skin tint 
Uh, this is the eye that I did powder and then this is the eye I did not. I'm liking it better with the powder. I already had lunch. This is what's left of the lipstick. Uh, I don't do any touch-ups when I do these wear tests. And this is what the skin is looking like. I think this IT Cosmetics blush that I showed you guys earlier is holding up really well, but don't know how I'm feeling about this skin tint and or the concealer. I think the mascara looks pretty good. The brows look good. The eyeliner is on. It kind of just smeared a little bit up here, but it was just on this side. I think this eye looks pretty good, but we'll see how it looks once I get home from work. And I'll give you guys my final thoughts at that time. Hey guys, so we've come to the 11 hour mark of me wear testing this new beauty brand from Serena Williams. This is how my makeup is looking. So I'm not a big fan of the skin tint. I wouldn't say it's the worst skin tint that I've ever tried, but it's not the best. I mean, it just looks okay. I'm going to have to keep playing with it, try it with different products. I didn't wear it with the primer today because of what happened, but uh, definitely for those of you who have uh, oily skin, this is going to be your moisturizer. Don't apply any moisturizer. If you're going to use this product because what happened to me will happen to you it'll ball up it'll break up and it's just going to be a hot mess those of you who have dry skin i think a lightweight moisturizer underneath this might be great um but do keep in mind this is going to be a really light coverage skin tint so if you're looking for something like that then this most definitely would be for you um i feel like i almost want to get well i don't think i will but I'm going to add some darkening drops to this one because I felt like it was a little too light for me. So um, I think that's what I'll do moving forward with it. The concealer definitely looks better on this eye that is set versus this eye that is not. And it feels like even some of the mascara kind of transferred to the bottom. And it was just on this side where the concealer was not set. I do like the mascara. I think it held the curl two coats of this. I like the way it looks on the lower lash line, but you can see right here, I feel like I've lost coverage with the concealer and the mascara is smeared a little bit. So um, the concealer I like. I like it better than I do the skin tint. I like the brows. I think the brow pencil did well. The lipstick look still on. It's still on. So I would say it's a pretty long wearing lipstick. No touch-ups on this face all day long. 11 hours, no touch-ups. Uh, I'm 42 years old and I have normal to oily skin, if I didn't say that already. But, you know, I think it was a decent makeup day. It was an okay makeup day. Like, I wouldn't say it's the best makeup day I've ever had. But, you know, I'm going to be anxious and curious to see what more Win Beauty has in store for us. And I'm excited. I'm excited. I think the packaging is on point with Serena Williams and who she is as an athlete. It definitely represents tennis. I love tennis. It's my favorite sport. It's the only sport that I play. So um, I was really excited to try this brand and I am a fan. Like I've followed Serena Williams, her career for so since the very beginning. So um, this was fun. This is a fun makeup brand for me to try and definitely something that I, I wanted to give some time and attention to. And I'll keep you guys posted as I keep trying these products out and I'll let you know my thoughts. I'm curious to see if she's going to come out with a setting spray and and even maybe a more fuller coverage foundation and I can definitely see her coming out with maybe some bright blushes and who knows maybe even an eyeshadow palette we'll see let me know your thoughts have you seen this in stores have you picked anything up sound off in the comments down below I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos y'all have a great day or night wherever it is y'all are at stay hydrated drink that water and I'm gonna see you all very soon bye